Welcome back to Digital Trends Live. I'm Greg Nibbler, and again, thank you for joining us wherever you are. We appreciate it. It is now time for awesome tech you can't buy yet. All right, our own Drew Prindle scours the internet to find some of the best, strangest, and sometimes coolest crowdfunding campaigns that are out there. Drew, hello, good to see you, and which one of these do we want to start off with here first? I think the appropriate one to start off with this week is this Quell gaming slash exercise system. So... As you know, because we've had them on the show a million times, Kickstarter and Indiegogo are kind of like gold mines of weird new fitness gear. Um, there's all kinds of weird smart mirrors. There's the rowing machine we had on a couple of, like there's tons of them, but this one is one of the more fun ones that I've seen um, in a long time. It's it's basically a, a like an at home, like boxing trainer kind of thing, but it's sort of done in VR. So like as a video game, but instead of being VR with like a headset and some of the boxing games that you've seen in, uh, in, you know, traditional VR environments, this doesn't require the headset. Instead, you wear a harness that not only tracks like the motion of your punches, but also um, provides resistance. So it gives you more of a workout. And that's actually how you progress through the game as you punch out all of these uh, monsters or whatever. And as you progress, it kind of <laughs> tailors the workout um, to, help you just get the most out of it. So it's a pretty interesting marriage of video games and working out. I do kind of like that one. I mean, I got to say, especially, you know, since you can't go outside, you can't go anywhere anymore. Um, yeah, this is something I, I would be interested in this one. And how much was it? Let's see, the, I'm, I'm trying to look here and see how just much over it was charging. Bucks. Just over 200 bucks. That's not bad at all, actually. I mean, I would it's think a lot because, you know, that's, you know, you're getting up to well, the, the around the system? price of it. Yeah, yeah. So it's like you get the harness, you get the game, you get all of that stuff. Um, I don't think you need any particular console for it to work with. Um, probably need some sort of computer to run it with. But yeah, it's not exactly cheap, but it's a it's an interesting idea. Yeah, I think that's okay. That's that's definitely an interesting one to start off with. Okay, so uh, again, going through here, awesome tech you can't buy at. Uh, what's the next one you want to hit? All right, next one. Let's talk about this. Uh, the talk socket. So you've undoubtedly heard of a pop socket before, right? You know, those little pucks people put yes. on the back of their phones. I actually have one. I love them. I talk crap about them all the time, but they're great. <laughs> they're so functional. They just make it easier to hold onto your phone. Um, but that's really all they do is they allow you to hold onto your phone easier. So the talk socket takes this idea a little bit further. And instead of just providing a grip for your phone, it also has Alexa func functionality built into it. So the tricky thing about that is like, obviously your smartphone has the ability to do like, you know, talk, you know, it can run Alexa, it can run Google assistant, all of those things, but they're not exactly like hands-free in order to get to them. You have to like open menus and click on app icons and stuff like that. So it's not really a truly hands-free experience, which is kind of clunky because like you can use, you can use Alexa like you normally do and just say, Hey, Alexa when you're in your living room, but anytime you're outside of that, you kind of lose that ability. So the talk socket brings it back and brings back that totally hands-free uh, operation wherever you go. I mean, it's that's cool. It seems like a bit, a bit obsessive to me, but uh, uh, maybe, or excessive at least, uh, but still, that, I, I, like, I like some innovation with that. So talk socket, that one is, see, 59 bucks for it. And so far this has doubled its goal with 24 days to go. So clearly people want the talk socket. Um, yeah. All right, so that's that's the second one. We got the talk socket, we got the quail. What's the, what's the last one that you wanna hit? All right, number three is the Wormwood Modular Gaming Table. So these guys have been on Kickstarter a couple times before. Uh, this is their latest project. Basically what they make is tables that look like normal dining tables or whatever, but they have these this like really clever snap together like leaf system on the top that you can remove. And that exposes this nice like felt lined interior. It's kind of sunken so you can throw dice or do whatever and it won't roll off the table. Um, but yeah, these, these uh, so basically what it is is a dining table that transforms into like the perfect gaming table. So in addition to that sunken like, you know, felt pocket whatever it's got uh it's also got this like really clever rail system on the outside of it 
that allows you to yeah put an extra leaf in there for like snacks or whatever but you can also put like cup holders on the side or you know put a little tray for dice or whatever you're going to be using to game with and it really just makes your your dining room table or your coffee table in your living room a little bit more functional than it would otherwise be and makes it a little bit more like purposefully designed for just uh tabletop games board games whatever games you like to play uh when you have people over i like this one this seems like it's kind of one of those no-brainer things that should have been around already maybe yeah maybe it is in some way shape or form um let's see the price on these uh looks like around 300 bucks for it is yeah that, that's 300 bucks plastic, for that's the yeah, that's for the smallest one. That's like the coffee table size, the little one. Um, it scales up from there. But these guys have made, if you check out the project, they've made over $8 million um, in pledges right now, which means they're, and they've got like a, close to a month left. So they are on track actually to be one of the, if not the highest, like most funded Kickstarter project in Kickstarter's history, which would mean they'd have to break the $13 million barrier in order to be the coolest cooler. But um, that's not necessarily out of the question. They've made 8 million already in less than a month. Yeah, with 25 days left to go. I mean, all they have to do is just, you know, deliver on it to not be the coolest cooler. But um, yeah, $1 million goal, 8 million so far, 25 days. I think they're gonna, I think they could do it. I think they can break it. And actually it's perfect timing for something like this to oh, come 100%. out. 100%. I mean, if ever is the time, yeah, now is the time for a modular home gaming table. To, uh, to break records. Well, that's awesome. So that's, again, why it's part of Awesome Tech. Uh, three, three different pro products right there, but we've got the rest of them all at Digital Trends as well, where each week Drew finds these different uh, crowdfunding campaigns and brings them to us. And Drew, as always, thank you so much, sir. I'll talk to you soon. All right, later, Greg.